Hello all, this video is on setting up KK 2.1.5 flight controller board for a quad captor. Our quad captor is built on F450 frame with 4 uh, motors and 4 ESCs on X mode. For assembly procedure and uh, uh, setting up the direction and testing ESC, you can check my previous videos. Uh, links are given in the description below. The KK 2.1.5 multi-rotor LCD flight control board is built on 80 mega 644 IC. Uh, do not mount it directly on the metal. You use some double side tape or some plastic plate so that it will absorb uh, vibrations. The right hand side of the KK board has got uh, 8 outputs of which we will be using 4 outputs to connect the ESCs directly. So, as it is a multi uh, rotor board it can uh, support uh, quad, hex or octa. We are using it in uh, quad capta. Uh, the right side edge is the all pins are uh, ground and the center pins are all uh, uh, 5 volt and the first pin is uh, signal. At the left side you have got uh, 5 connections that is for uh, receiver connections. For each channel can be controlled using this KK board directly. Left side is for uh, receiver connections and right, right side is for the motor ESC connections. Uh, take the first ESC wire. This ESC wire is similar to that of servo wire. Or at the end is a black wire which is the ground. The ground should match the ground pin of the uh, KK board. The edge of the, PS, uh, edge of the P PCB is always uh, ground pin. So connect the first ESC like this and the second ESC to out to Similarly, the third ESC to the third output and the fourth one to the fourth output. Out of total eight outputs, we are using uh, only four outputs as we are having uh, four motors and four ESCs. At the left hand side, we have to connect the uh, receivers, uh, receiver wires. Uh, some wires are accompanied with the KK board. You can make use of these wires. Uh, one buzzer wire is also provided. You can kind of connect the buzzer to the uh, top of the KK board where the you can see a, uh, an arrow mark. Near that, uh, you can connect this buzzer. Now let us see the receiver connections. The first one is the aileron. Uh, at the edge of the PCB is the negative. You connect the, uh, the set of three wire to the top one that is the aileron and connect the other end to the receive a first channel the first channel is aileron you take care of the negative wire that is the negative wire ground wire is the black one that is at the bottom of the receiver and the negative is at the uh, edge of the pcb of uh, kk board the second wire is a special wire that is one to three wire that is connected perpendicularly to the first wire so that it covers all the three channel other three channels the other end is uh, all three single wires so the positive and the ground is taken from the first channel itself so no need of uh, again connecting the 5 volt and ground you will be connecting only the uh, single wire that is channel 2 elevator channel 3 is to throttle and channel 4 is to rudder so this is uh, a different type of wire that is 1 to 3 wire only the channels are connected here and if you want the uh, aux pin you can connect it to the uh, fifth uh, uh, fifth pin of the KK board and then to the channel 5 using a single uh, uh, female to female wire now for uh, setting up the KK board keep the transmitter on throughout the settings and then ensure that the receiver is bound to transmitter initially the display will show error as we are not uh, started at the setting it will show error in the display. There are four buttons at the bottom of the KK board S1, S2, S3 and S4. So back for back position use the S1, up is S2, down is S3 and then enter is S4. Uh, click on uh, S4 and then uh, use the down button and go to the uh, show motor layout. The next one uh, go to the load motor layout not show motor layout you have to load the motor layout and then go to the quad capter x mode 
and then click S to set up the quad capter X mode. Now use the S2 button to see the motor uh, directions. First motor CW, second CCW, third CW and then fourth CCW. Next is the ACC calibration. For this you have to place the quad capter on a level surface and then select the ACC calibration that is the ca to calibrate accelerometer. Uh, click on S4 once the calibration is over. This is auto calibration. As soon as the ACC calibration is over you can pull out the power and provide the power again. Now you can see the display on uh, uh, the LCD display shows safe. It has changed from error to safe. Now go to the uh, settings, PA settings. This is uh, here you have to set the P gain and I gain of uh, aileron, elevator and radar. So P gain is the proportional gain. That is the sensitivity and responsibility setting. Higher P means uh, sharper control and uh, lower P means softer, softer, one, softer one, softer control. And I is the integral gain, that is the stiffness setting, how well it holds the attitude. According to the uh, display settings uh, shown here, you have to set the uh, PA settings for all the three, aileron, elevator and radar. Once the PA setting is done, you go to the mode setting and then set the self level to always. This is the only setting done here, self level to always. Use the S3 button to uh, go down. And finally, uh, S4. To go next, the sticks scaling, that is to uh, left to uh, default the next one is the miscellaneous setting one under this you have to set the alarm uh, 1 by 10 voltage that is if you want to set the alarm level to 10.8 volt if you are using 11.1 volt and setting uh, low level alarm to 10.8 you have to set this to 108 now let us see how to calibrate the ESCs <coughs> turn the transmitter uh, with the uh, throttle to minimum always while say uh, switching on the transmitter keep the throttle to minimum and switches to off now turn on the transmitter and then move the throttle to maximum keep pressing the s1 and s4 switches and then connect the battery to the quad capter you take the help of another person as a single person cannot do this keep the s1 and s4 uh, pressing now you will get a two beep sounds and uh, now you put the throttle down you will get a single beep sound the calibration is over now now we will see how to arm the quad captor arming allows to move the motors uh, at the same speed uh -huh. for arming you have to keep the throttle move the throttle to the left hand end side once the uh, quad capter is armed by pushing the throttle you can see all the motors rotating at the same speed do not connect the propellers initially as it may damage your fingers you have to be careful uh, while you are connecting the uh, uh, propellers to de-arm you have to uh, push the throttle to the right hand side uh, edge thank you for watching